Right now we're in Cameron Highlands and this place is well known for the strawberry farms, the tea plantations, the nature and of course the Instagram spots. We're here today and we're gonna see what it's actually like and what to expect if you're coming here. So at first we thought Cameron Highlands is like a one small tiny village in the mountains but it's actually a few different villages and to be honest it's not like what you would expect like it's just pure nature there's actually a lot of traffic loads of coffees restaurants and a bunch of people everywhere you look around because i guess everybody wants to come and see this right now we're in tanarata which is the main town so if you're taking the bus to cameron highlands you're gonna probably get off here and this is where most of the accommodation is as well so you probably stay here as well has everything you need first impressions of cameron highlands the accommodations are actually really really affordable and um, there is no air con so i'm guessing there's no extra bills because it gets really cold at night so that's why it's probably so cheap there's a nice area map it shows you everything to do to be honest there are quite a few things that we're not necessarily too excited about like for example the strawberry farm even though it's a very popular thing to do I think a strawberry farm is kind of a, a bit of a PTSD for me a quick story was that when I was 13 they used to send all the naughty kids from school to the strawberry farms to pick strawberries during the summer you know and uh, that just kind of reminds me of just nothing but labor how much is the taxi from here to the, the, the tea plantation or Cameron Valley yeah Cameron Valley one way is 20 again 20 ringgit. 20 ringgit. Okay, so it's 20 ringgit. It's not too bad, I guess. Taxes here in Cameron Highlands are obviously a little bit more than other places in Malaysia because you are in the mountains and this is one of the only ways to get around. I don't, I'm not really sure if there is a public bus service here. So if you're going to come here and you want to get around Cameron Highlands and visit all the villages, taking the taxis is the way to do it. I really like the taxis. It's like old school Mercedes, leather, proper like gangster looking car. Pretty nice. We are staying only one day. Tomorrow so you go to the we go to the Boti, one yeah. of the best tea plantation, and on the way you got time tunnel, whatever you like to do, and you come to the Coral Mossy. Original Coral Mossy is a jungle. Okay. I can take you. It's free Coral Mossy for us. You can do this. It's very nice. I'm telling the truth. It take three hours. You can do all. But you're going here. It's nothing there. I think we'll be okay. We'll stick okay. with the original plan. Yeah. Thank okay. you though. Okay. Right. How much do you charge for the three hour trip? 90 ringgit only. So as soon as we got off the cab, I don't, I don't know what it is, but it smells kind of sweet. And I don't know if it's just someone's cooking something or it's just coming from the tea plantations. It smells really good. But yeah, we're at tea shop one, spent 20 ringgit in a taxi to get here. It was actually pretty far. It's about an hour walk. So let's go in and see some views. It is Sunday, so a little bit busy. Hey, they have little buses. I think you can do like an ATV adventure through the plantation. You can smell nasi lemak already. Mmm, you can smell the anchovies. Smells good. This is the cafe. Okay. Enjoy the views of the tea plantation. Okay, so there's like a little waterfall all the way there. So there's like a little place you can chill there as well. And I think you can walk or take it at one of those little rides down there. I think we should go there, right? Wanna get one of those buses? It's 15 ringgit for an adult, 4 ringgit just to hike down there. Probably gonna walk there. It's not, it doesn't look that far to be honest. Thank you. Boom, we got the wristbands. 4 ringgit each. It's like a wristband to a festival or something like that. It says wristband. <laughs> but it's not supposed to be in a seal. You can just put it on your bag or just carry it on you. Yeah, I can feel it stuck to my hair on my arm, so it's gonna hurt when I take it off. <laughs> Thanks, all that Maria. Hair. Well, you get to pluck your hairs out. I guess I get a free wax while I do it. So this is it. The Cameron Highlands Valley. Um, it smells a lot like tea. Actually, it does still smell like nasi lemak for some reason. Uh, but yeah, look at these beautiful fields. It is uh, nice. See if there's anything else apart from this. I mean, so far, um, it's all right. I wouldn't say like, I'm like, oh my God, I'm shocked. It's not like that, but uh, I'm, I'm guessing this is pretty much like it, right? Because it's a tea plantation, so you know, you can't expect more than just a tea plantation. What's this? Little berries. Hmm, just found some purple berries. Probably you're not supposed to eat them. Oh, it's blackberry. All right, but yeah, it's definitely a blackberry. Let's see if we can find a better one. So I'm not plucking the tea leaves. The sign says don't pluck tea leaves. It doesn't mention anything about blackberries. Since the berries, we all know, they don't last very long. So in probably like a couple of weeks, they'll be completely rotten. Let's give it a try. Mmm. It's a beautiful, delicious blackberry. Yep, I just had a blackberry. Wow. I miss a wild blackberry. Like, it's actually really nice. 
Like your fingers get dyed. You know that's like organic stuff grown here in Cameron Highlands. Instagram spot. This guy's getting some photo. Probably look cool on Instagram. I guess we could get some shots here too. Can't come and not get a little photo, right? Honestly, based on pictures I saw from other tea plantations and the amount of people that were there queuing to take selfies and stuff, this one actually doesn't seem that busy and it is Sunday, so quite surprised to be honest. Thought it was gonna be busier. That's a good thing, I guess. More space to take our own pictures and enjoy the views. Apparently you can also do like a little ATV tour with just some people doing it. You go with like a guide around the plantation and stuff like that. It's probably not like super like extreme going you know, off-road and stuff. <laughs> Into the tea plantations. <laughs> yeah, just how we <laughs> like it usually. But, uh, but no, it's, it's nice if you just want to have a little ride on like the little concrete roads that are made here and stuff like that. Why the hell not? This valley is really popular for photos. A lot of people doing all kinds of photos. So we decided to take a little bit of Olivia's shots. There we go, bing. So there's a little bridge in here. Um, seems pretty busy in here. There's like a coffee, bunch of backpackers, Cameron Highlands, some sort of tower. Um, I don't think there's many other things in here. Oh yeah, and, and that's that waterfall we saw from above. It's like an artificial sort of like Damn, a waterfall or something like that. I feel like it looks pretty all right, but there's not that many things necessarily. Yeah, I don't know if the taxi driver was telling the truth when he said that there was better ones or not. You guys can let us know if we missed out on something really amazing compared to this. Although when he said no, he seemed to be pretty upset with us. He just stopped talking to us. Yeah. And, and when we arrived, it was like, oh, hey, thank you. And he's like, okay, we took the money. We're pretty sure he just wanted to make a bit extra money today. Because I mean, we did say it was our only day here, which is fair enough. Yeah. That's his job. And he did say that this is just a waste of time. Coming here is just nothing but waste of time. So far, I don't know. It's not necessarily a waste of time. Obviously, the expectations was a little bit higher. I'm not gonna lie. At the corner of it, there's like a sign that says danger. Do not enter restricted area. I do wonder what kind of a danger it is. What kind of danger is it? Is it like snakes? Military? I don't even know. Sounds a bit like... Basically, uh, this guy watched our videos, he's like, can I take a photo? I'm like, really? My, my brother won... Uh, big fan. Oh, big nice fan. one. <laughs> Terima kasih. <laughs> nice one, yeah, you can take a photo together, why the hell not? Boom. That perfect frame. Been there, done that. Didn't get a t-shirt though. I wonder if they sell them upstairs. Don't get a camera on Highland <laughs> T-shirt. We don't have any space in our bags anyways. We're back to the main road now and just thinking how the hell are we gonna go back to town? We didn't think this through properly. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's any shuttle buses or taxis in here available. Time was to walk, but I realized when we were coming that the taxi was going downhill, which means we now have to walk uphill for an hour. Yeah, so I'd definitely say the main negative so far of Cameron Highlands is no public buses, no shuttle buses to take tourists around for a cheap price. I feel like it's set up like that so tourists have to pay a lot of money to get around on tours and in the taxis. It's a bit of a shame that they don't have that going to all the main tourist attractions here. <laughs> no way. Oh really? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, hop on. Okay. Some locals just picked us up. Thank you. Uh, turn around. Thank you. Turn around and see. Okay, so our first ever hitchhike here in Malaysia. Mario, Very just successful. Put, you just put your thumb out for like two seconds. I was I was waiting for a pickup truck like this, yeah. so you know no issues. <laughs> Hello. Malaysians are really lucky because they come here with their own transport, which is kind of what you need when you come to Cameron Islands. Travels on tow style. What up? These guys are literally becoming the local taxi. We're about to pick up another eight backpackers or so. Oh, <laughs> Literally, this is what happens when you're a tourist, you're trying to walk along these roads. Were you guys doing the hike? Yeah. Okay. Was it good? Yeah. Was it, was it muddy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't do it because we have vans. Oh, you didn't have vans first. Oh, maybe we could have done it. Okay. Okay. Too about your shoes. Okay. 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 Boom! Thank what do you. you know about free rides, man? Here we go. Back in town, ten minutes, save loads of money. Yeah, this guy just saved a, a lot of backpackers a lot of time yeah. and energy. 
And good luck with your trip, guys. Enjoy. We're just outside our guest house. This is pretty cool. Are you hungry? Yeah. Obviously, how can you come to Cameron Highlands and don't try out the strawberries? We are not going to strawberry farm to pick them, but we're definitely gonna come and try it here. I'm pretty sure they come from the strawberry farms as well. They're not getting imported. They're probably grown here locally. These look like the small ones. Look pretty sweet, but I'm looking at those, man. Looks so good. The massive ones. When did you bring it? Ten. Ten ring it. If you buy three packs, you get two for free. Yeah, buy, uh, buy three, two small packs. Oh, you get two small for yeah. free. Yeah. We're leaving tomorrow, so I, I feel like we're gonna be in the toilet for quite a while if we eat them all in one day. Uh, but we should totally try some of these. They look really good right here. These will look pretty good. Should we get one a pack of those, yeah? Can I get one of those, please? This one specifically looks pretty nice. Right, do you wanna do the honors, Olivia? Yeah. Yeah. So, strawberries are really popular in Lithuania. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I used to go on these summer jobs and do the picking the strawberries at a very young age. So picking is not the fun part. The fun part is eating them. So yeah, give it a go. See how good. Apparently the guy says the strawberries are washed. So it's I'm ready safe to, to eat. eat. Um, look at that. Pick the biggest My one. My favorite fruit in the entire world is strawberries. This what? is why we came to Cameron Highlands. We're not even sitting anywhere. Just right here in the street, in the middle yeah. of the street, just having a strawberries. Right. Just That's give it a go. Fun. Why not? Ah, I'm gonna one as well. One. Is it good? Your face, like. Ugh. Any strawberry to me is good. Right. I don't know. Any strawberry to here is good. I don't know. I'm pretty picky since I know quite a few things about strawberries. I'll be honest about it. Hmm. Not too shabby. A little bit sour. It could be a little sweeter, but I feel that's because of the northern climate. It gets a little bit sour, but. Overall, it's not too bad. These are the most delicious strawberries I have tried in Southeast Asia. Strawberries are supposed to be like very seasonal, and back in my country, they only grow. Whoa. Back in my country, they only grow in July time. It's only about three weeks, and they're really big, really sweet. But here, I think they grow it all year round in greenhouses. So it's sort of like a, a slightly bit artificial, but the actual strawberry is organic, obviously. Olivia's just smashing them out back there in the background. Yeah. I'm gonna be eating these all day today. Don't eat too much because we haven't had any proper food today. Otherwise, you'll be stuck in the toilet for a while. It's worth it. Olivia just got this really nice beef soup. It really feels like proper Malaysian style. I just tried a little sip of it and man, it's such a nice and strong flavor. It's like it has a bit of that sourness to it. There's loads of like vegetables. And I had to try the Cameron Highlands fried rice. Apparently, you know, Cameron Highlands, Cameron Highlands fried rice. Makes sense, I should try it. And it looks really unusual. I've never seen fried rice like this. Like it's proper red. I feel and like it's called Cameron Highlands rice because it looks like strawberry color. I'm guessing this is a squid. I'm a little bit jealous that Mario's food is pink. It looks very aesthetically cute. Right, give it a try. Mm. <laughs> Your face. It tastes like it's pink. Like, it tastes like it has flowers in or something. Maybe it is strawberries. We don't know. Let us know if you, you guys know. know. <laughs> you never know. You'd be surprised with all the food here in Malaysia. We just paid the bill and it was a little bit more than what we expected to pay usually. Um, it was 58 ringgit, which is about 12, 13 dollars, something like that. Yeah, uh, we got like two iced teas, a cabbage, a fried rice, and a soup. What was the most expensive thing? Mm -hmm. Well, the fried rice didn't have the price on it, uh, so you know. I guess it's seafood as well, and we're in the mountains. I was actually quite surprised that Cameron Highlands traditional fried rice is with seafood since there's no sea right in the mountains but overall it's actually it was pretty good I can't complain so after this meal we feel so bloated we feel like we don't have much energy left but we still decided to go and check out a little bit more of this town since we're not here for very long and apparently Cameron Highlands has a really nice park and oh my days there's a skate park no freaking way and the thing is I've got my skateboard here what i mean we were talking about this when we were on our way up here on the bus about how the roads are pretty good here you can yeah. probably skate around the town to i know explore. right but i don't know if there is like a bicycle render for olivia yeah. otherwise you'd have to be running behind me the whole or time just piggyback <laughs> no yeah right <laughs> this is the skate park 
but it feels like it's not really actually made for skating these ramps because if you actually look in here this would be really in your way i mean yeah and then if you go down wow. the ramp it goes straight into these so i might not bring my skateboard for this one because i think i'm gonna break my neck and we still need to travel we need to do a lot of videos for you guys is this bicycle rental we rent just to play around here just to play around here okay so these big bikes yeah. is also just to go around the park Ah, uh, okay. What, what is the price? We have from five ringgit to thirty ringgit. So this is thirty ringgit for half an hour. Yeah. Around the park, yeah. yeah. Okay. We're heading to Robinson Falls, which is like a waterfall here to see, and you have to go through this animal feeding rainbow garden. Don't follow Google Maps because it takes you all the way around. It'll take you forever. So we're following Maps Me, which is the best. It's free, no Wi-Fi, and Maps Me taking us through this animal feeding area. You get to feed some parrots and some farm animals in here yeah it looks like it's mainly for kids i'm hoping this is not the robinson falls but it says in here robinson falls intake so there's a bit of a waterfall that it looks kind of like half artificial half natural but i feel like that's not the main bit right it can't be really it can't because it, you know it doesn't look very impressive okay it says going this way so this is not it feels like we finally have reached our destination Robinson Falls. It looks pretty cool. Pretty intense. We just asked a couple of backpackers that were walking from the other direction if there was anything worth seeing down there and they said that it just leads to more hiking trails. So all there is to do if you carry on going is just hike into other different places and this is kind of it. We reached Robinson Falls. It is only a short walk. It's not too long but it's kind of hard to chill by the waterfall because there's just a big drop and then the water's really strong so you can't like climb down and it said online you could swim but i don't i wouldn't really recommend it like it looks pretty intense yeah no actually. no there's way more better places to swim in malaysia than yeah. robinson falls on our way back i was like i'd like something refreshing and guess what i see a mulberry a mulberry tree you better hope that's a mulberry mm. yeah ah look at this it's not fully ripened yet Mmm. Definitely refreshing though. I believe because maybe it belongs to someone. We're gonna be on video now on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. uh, another viewer here in Cameron Highlands. Woo. After spending some time in Cameron Highlands, we took a bus to the airport and now we're about to fly to an island here in Malaysia. Can you guess where we're we going? <laughs> <laughs> 